We're now on a uh, small tributary into the main Pemina Valley, which is just off to our west. We're about uh, a kilometer and a half away from La Riviere. Now, uh, the rock behind me is the O'Donna Shale, very similar to uh, our last outcrop, only we're much higher in the section here. This is the rock that would have been stripped off from the previous outcrop. Uh, we are at least a couple hundred feet higher in the O'Donna Shale, uh, which is part of the pier. Now, uh, the uh, shale here, as you can see, is also coated uh, on its outside surface with a fair amount of iron oxide. Uh, not as much of the black manganese uh, that you can see. There's a little bit of elements to it. But if we look at the uh, rock uh, directly below my feet here, you can see the difference between a fracture surface and the internal composition of the uh, O'Donna Shale. If we uh, look at this piece here, this is a fracture surface in through here. It's got the uh, uh, bit of the manganese, which uh, tends to be a blue, uh, purple kind of color to that uh, manganese coating, but it's only on the fracture. Uh, again, turning it over, there's another fracture surface, but if we look at the actual rock itself, it is uh, relatively clean. Uh, there's again a small fracture surface uh, within that piece uh, that has smalled off, and uh, the rock itself is gray. Uh, it's a gray uh, silicious shale, again about 80% uh, SiO2, and uh, the rock again falls apart. Uh, if uh, it dries, it crumbles, and it will uh, gradually turn uh, to a mud, uh, just like the pieces that you might see over here uh, as such. Actually, some of this even looks a bit like the bentonite clay uh, that was uh, up uh, at the other uh, uh, outcrop uh, as such. If we look at a fresher piece of the O'Donna Shale here, again, it's gray, generally solid, uh, but again, falls apart if I break it off. It has a uh, subconchoidal fracture uh, in through here, a very diagnostic of the uh, uh, Odonna. Uh, fresh surface tends to be uh, darker uh, gray uh, uh, before it uh, dries out. After it's dried in the sun, there's quite a contrast in, in color uh, between a uh, darker uh, shale. In the subsurface where it's kept white, it would be almost a very dark green color uh, in it. Uh, when it dries out, it turns gray. Uh, 